Hi and welcome. I'm Brad Sugars, the Chairman and CEO of Action Coach. It's my pleasure to welcome you here today and uh, I guess I've got a few roles to go over with you today. First is obviously to introduce you to business coaching. What is it? How does it work? Uh, introducing you to Action Coach and why it is that, uh, well, with over a thousand offices in 22 countries, uh, we're the world's largest business coaching company and how it is that we got that way and won all the awards and have built such a great system for helping you grow your business and also to introduce you to our six steps to massive results. So you can learn really how it is you can grow your business and how working with an action coach will help you create such massive differences, not only in the amount of money and the bottom line profitability of the company, but also in time, in lifestyle, in confidence in running your business. All of these extra sales and profits are one thing, but having the time and the knowledge and the ability to enjoy them is a total other part. You see, action coaching really comes down to a simple statement. You know, where you'll be in five years is really the difference between the people you meet, the books you read, and the actions you take. And that's really what a coach or a mentor is all about in business. See, imagine when you go into business having a wise person there to be able to help you and assist you to grow the business. But not only that, being backed by a team of a thousand other coaches all around the world, being backed by a system that's helped develop tens of thousands of companies over the years, a system that I've literally taught to millions of business owners. That's what we're going to take here today. You see, my background, I started out as an accountant. Well, actually, my dad would argue with that. He said I started out in business at age seven, caught me selling my Christmas presents to my brothers. Uh, I always said I started out in business at 15. It's when uh, I had a newspaper delivery run, and I'm sure many people have delivered the newspapers, but uh, I employed several of my friends to do it for me, and I thought that was a pretty good business for a 15-year-old to have. In fact, it was a great business for me to have. Since then, I've owned and operated over 50 different businesses, um, everything from ladies' fashion to uh, dry cleaning stores to uh, pizza manufacturing to uh, insurance, uh, Currently producing musicals, uh, the Buddy Holly story, that's a good one we're doing at the moment, RV sales, you name it, I, I've had businesses in it. And I don't tell you that to impress you, but to impress upon you one thing. Uh, it's an interesting point, and I, I know Sir Richard Branson was quoted as saying this, if you can learn to one, run one business well, well then you can apply that same knowledge to any and every business. So really today's about starting your apprenticeship to become a great business owner of multiple businesses. Um, and obviously what coaching is all about is about a degree in entrepreneurship using your current business really as the case study. Now, every time you work with a coach, you'll find that the knowledge acquisition is just as important as the strategy you use to build your current business. So during our time together today, I, I want to remind you of a couple of things first and foremost so that you can learn the most I get. One of them is that during a learning process, often you'll have a lot of questions, uh, things will not make much sense. Well, that's what a coach is there for, to go back and to look at that. But to really learn the most, we've got to understand that it comes through application. You know, there's a lot of very uh, wise professors out there who've never applied the knowledge that they got. And one of the big challenges with that is really simple. You don't get wisdom without applying the knowledge. It's great to know what to do, but to actually do it is even better. So really what today's about is about the same reason I called the company Action Coach. It's, it's not about learning just for the sake of learning. It's about learning so that you can go and do something with it. So everything I teach you today is no rocket science. There's no, gee, that sounds very theoretical or nice jargon. What it's all about here today is about you learning how to build your business, how to work with an action coach so you can grow the best business you possibly can. You know, most business owners, they go into business for the same reasons. Uh, one of two in most cases. Uh, first reason is lost a job and uh, got to employ myself because no one else will at this point in time. And uh, it's an incredible the number of world famous massive businesses that have been built for that reason. The other is the positive reasons, the desire to take control of your life, the desire to build a freedom and, and wealth and lifestyle. Um, all of those different things that, that come from it. And usually it follows a statement of, well, I, I'm better at this or smarter than my boss. I'm going to go and, you know, do this thing for myself. And the unfortunate part is that, you know, we've all heard the statistics, the number of businesses that go broke, the number of businesses that disappear after one year, five years, ten years. They say only 6% are still around. Now, I'm not sure if the statistics are still correct. Anyone can create statistics, but... The reality is there are a lot of businesses out there struggling. The reality is that most business owners are really good at what they do. A hairdresser is the best hairdresser. Uh, 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 an accountant is a great accountant. Uh, a dentist is a great dentist. 
but it doesn't make them great at running their business of doing that. It doesn't make them great at the sales, the marketing, the team building, the, the aspects that actually help you build the profitable bottom line. And that's the difference between owning a job and owning a business. See, I always go back to, I have a definition for a business, and it's a simple one. Business is a commercial, profitable enterprise that works without me. In other words, without you. If you've got to go there, it's not a business. I do a simple test. You know, think of this. Could you tomorrow morning wake up, and this is assuming it's a weekday tomorrow, could you wake up tomorrow morning, call your business, have someone answer the phone, and you say, to them, listen, I'm going to go away for the next few months. I'll, I'll see you when I get back. Um, you know, most people, the, their answer to that is there's no possible way I could do it. Some people sit there and think, now, could I trust Murray to run the place for me while I'm gone? You know, others think, well, as long as I had email and a phone. No, 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 this is actually a real vacation. This is actually really getting away from it. Because, see, business is about investing. It's about an investment is ultimately where we want it to get to. We want this thing to run without you. See, in most cases, you don't run your business. The business runs you. You don't get to choose when you go in. It chooses when you come in. You know, and that trap, it, it's almost like the number of business owners I meet that haven't even had a vacation in years. I mean, how, how is life when you don't get to take time out? You went into business for freedom and lifestyle, and that's really what the system I'm about to show you is all about, how that happens. You know, I've done it in my own life. I've retired several times. I'm not a good retired person. Um, I failed at it now twice. That's what being in business is about. It's about that freedom, and it's about how you build it to that stage. See, here's an interesting point. If you, if you built a house the way you built your business, how would you go about it? Were there plans drawn up before you built it? Did you know where it was going to look like in the end? All of these different aspects of building a business and the system for doing it is what we at Action Coach do. See, after years of doing this, now 15 years of coaching business owners one-on-one -on -one and starting this industry, being the leader in it worldwide and coaching business owners from Singapore to Sydney to San Francisco, you know, from the north of Ireland to the south of France. In all of these different places where we coach business owners, they're in the same boat as you. You know, they're looking to build their business. They're looking to grow it. Some of them are looking to get out of the trap of their business. And that's why these six steps are absolutely vital for you to learn and to help you grow a business that actually can run without you. That being said, if you go to build a business, and it can be any business, and let's imagine you're an engineer for many years and you said, I'm going to go and open my own engineering shop. Being a great engineer is still important, but being great at opening and running the business of engineering is even more important. Because no matter how good an engineer you are, if you don't have profit left over at the end of the month, you aren't going to be there next year or the, or the month after or the week after to deliver any results. So let's take a look at the six different steps.